If you want to create better styles for your WooCommerce archive page, then this video is for you. In today's video, we're going to create some labels and add them to our website. And here is the website that we're going to use. This is a local host environment, as you can see. This is an Astra template. I'm using the Astra theme and I have import and ready template from the Astra starter sites. So we're going to add some labels in this product catalog and we're going to use a free plugin to do the job. The plugin that we're going to use is the advanced product label, as you can see, and it has also a pro version, which I am going to open. And let's see the pro version. Uh, it's a very, I think, a good price for what it does. It's only $29 for a single site and you have unlimited updates and lifetime support and of course 30 days money back guarantee uh, the free version is pretty good for what it does and if you go here and you can see the comparison between the free and the premium you will see that it has much more conditions and display accounts custom ca discount type labels and all of those so we're going to use the free version and let's go to our plugins and of course i have already tested that's why it says here it was deleted let's go and add again okay i'm going to search for woocommerce advanced product labels and it's uh, this one not this one sorry this one here from the b rocket advanced product labels for woocommerce i will put the link in the description below for the plugin for the premium plugin And let's go here. As you can see, we have all of our products here. And this badge is from the WooCommerce. So we're going to replace the badge and we're going to create some other badges as well. Let's go and activate that. And we're going now to B Rocket and Advanced Labels. Uh, let's go in first in product labels and we're going to disable the WooCommerce default. So we're going to remove WooCommerce sale labels, sale labels. Let's save that and let's go and refresh this page. So this will be removed. Okay. And let's go again. And now we can, you can see of course, all the features here, the settings, general, CSS, you can apply font awesome styles, four and five some javascript and you can go ahead and uh, play with all these settings to see what it does uh, it's pretty straightforward it's very easy plugin and it's nice to work with so let's go to labels here or advanced labels here it's the same and we're going to add a new label and we're going to name this new this is not the title that it will uh, display in the label this is only for us if we have too many labels to know which one is which so you can write everything you want right here the text that is going inside the label will be here that it says text and we're going to say again new but i will always add a uh, exclamation mark and here you can switch between text discount percentage price and stock status so it can say in stock or out of stock and i will leave it as it is for now Let's go in the next one. And of course, now you can choose uh, the layout. We have square, circle, and I will choose this layout here. And you can see also the pro versions and which type of badges that you can add. Okay, you can also add image templates in the pro version. Everything that you see here is uh, for pro. And advanced label, there are no templates available. So we have choose this and let's go now to style and we can choose the background color and the font color. I will take something that will match my theme. So we have a green light green here. So let's go for a background color of like green, something like this. Okay, I don't know the exact hex code. Maybe I should look, at, look it up, but it's okay. And let's go for a font color of black. Let's go for black, font size we leave it as it is for now, border radius as it is, and everything else we leave it as it is. 
Let's go in the position and we are going to display on image and not on label. Label, it's uh, basically it will be added here in the title. So we want it on image, we're going to use it the right position. And if you want, you can put some margin and padding. As you see here, it has a negative margin and, pa and uh, negative top margin, negative right margin. And you will see it will exceed a little bit of the image. Let's go for the tooltip. And you can change the style. Uh, open delay and all of these things. I'm not going to use any of that. I want to add the simple uh, uh, label but you have the anything that you want to do with the free version is up here i think there are more options that someone would like okay and let's go and refresh now the page of course we won't see anything okay we will see something because i have changed this uh, i haven't sorry i haven't put the condition so let's go into the general again and here in conditions I have to add some conditions here. Now I see everywhere it's the new because I haven't added the condition. And this is where the power of the plugin will be uh, extended. You can add the condition wh which uh, products can have the which labels. So we want in uh, the products that are new. So let's go for product age and let's go for equal or less than 30 days. Oh, I'm going to save now and I'm going to refresh the catalog and of course all the badges should be removed okay none of those products are new let's go to the products of WooCommerce all products I will open it in a new, in a new tab and I'm going to see that the date published is over a year now old so let's go and change uh, some of those let's go for let's see which is first the assorted coffee okay let's go for the assorted coffee arrange those by name and the assorted coffee i were going to quick edit it and let's go to the date and i will put the current date first of the november and let's go and update that and let's refresh the page as you can see only this product has the new label because it's a product that it should not it should it we it marked as updated today as the published today after 30 days this uh, new label will automatically be removed okay let's go to add uh, another one to see how we can do things and let's go back to advanced labels and we're going to add a new label we're going to title that sale and let's go for this one let's put here sale exclamation mark and let's go for a style and let's go for again a green of course you i can i can copy the code from the previous one but i'm not going to okay and the black text I will put a little bit less of the font size here because it's a bigger uh, word on sale. There are more letters. Let's go for position on the left. Okay. And I will leave the, uh, everything as it is. And let's go for the conditions. And I want the, the condition to be on sale. Okay. Is on sale? Yes. Let's go and save it. And let's go and refresh the catalog. And if a product here is on sale, which I know it is because they had it before, as you can see, those two products are on sale. And let's see what other conditions you can add. Here you have the plus icon inside here and you have the plus icon inside here. The, the difference between those is you can add an add or an or <laughs> uh, condition. So basically uh, you can add the condition sale if the product is on sale and if the product is also new so let's go for the product age and is equal or less than 30 days that now this means that if both conditions are applied so if the product is on sales and it is less than 30 days or equal then the product will have the tag the the label sale 
If one of those are not met, it will not display the label. So, of course, uh, the, the label will not be displayed because none of those products, those two products, are new. Okay. And if I remove here this uh, condition and if I click here, then it will add an OR, which means if this condition is met or if this condition is met, one of those, the, it's not necessary to be both of them, the label will be applied, the, will be viewed. Of course, if both of the conditions are correct, are, are met, then of course the, the label will be shown uh, again. So let's go and add the OR. So let's go for the product age, since we have already changed that. And let's go for equal or less than 30 days. So I'm going to save it. And when I'm refresh, I will see in here that it says those two products that I know that are on sale. And this product also will, uh, will uh, view, will have the label sale. And let's go and see what conditions do we have in the free version. So we have the product, so you can use it to go and specify as a label in a, as in a single product and we have the category so products in this category can have the label the products that are on sale best seller products price you can uh, use it by stock status so if it is in, in stock or out of stock so you can create a label that it says out of stock total sales featured featured means that uh, let's go and remove that and let's go and save it Featured basically is this asterisk, so you can go and remove this. So if you uh, remove that and uh, leave it blank, then it's not featured. If you have check it, then it's featured. So you can select which products you want to be featured and which products will have the label. Okay, let's go and refresh the page. And now I have only this and let's see that here only this product is featured so let's go and add this so you can create a label that says uh, i don't know new product awesome product or something and uh, have it displayed with the featured uh, here as you can see with this uh, featured cap capability let's go again to the conditions you where we have product age we have already used that product type type if it's a symbol or grouped or variant as you can see here and at last product rating so if we have a red a product that is rated high you can use something that it says uh, most popular or something and of course in the pro version you can see the other conditions that you will have here i think it's a very good plugin for what it does the free version is awesome and last you can see here the margins Let's play with that. Let's go and see how it looks now. As you can see, the, the label of the product is a little bit higher and uh, it's off the image, as you can see here. This is the negative margin. So I can go ahead and give it a zero margin here and a zero margin here. So let's go and save it. And we were going to see how it looks right now. So basically, it will be nowhere. <laughs> Okay, let's go and refresh. And let's see the conditions. Okay, product rating, of course, it will be nowhere. Let's go for the product age equal or less 30 days. Let's go and save it and let's go and see it again. And now we're going to see that the uh, label is at the left corner, exact left corner of the image. Okay, we don't have any margin or any padding at that. Uh, you can go ahead and play with all the settings. I think it's a very good plugin, as I have said already three times. <laughs> Sorry for that. And thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos like this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.